I remember my dad asking all of us children whether we'd like something for dinner. It was a Friday night and he was just going to head down to the local McDonald's. So I asked just for a simple milkshake. And I remember taking a swallow and it all coming out of my <coughs> nose. I started to get a sense of nausea and began to vomit. And then I said to my mother, I need to go to the hospital. No doctor could actually tell me what was the matter. After probably a couple of hours at the hospital with lots of tests going on, I was just filling up a bucket full of spit. And after several tests, they sent me for an MRI scan. And I remember being inside this big machine and the noise inside there is really, really noisy. Lots of beeps and whistles and shakes. Not only had I lost the swallow, I had also lost my ability to cry, my ability to sneeze, <laughs> my ability to yawn. So I haven't cried since I was 23 years old. That was my first stroke. The second stroke was a thrombosis. That caused me to suffer one hell of a lot of pain in my head, so much so that it felt like my head was splitting in half. I was unable to form sentences, and I was unable to name the simple objects in a room. My speech and language therapist actually described my brain like a library. And what's happened in this library is there's been a massive earthquake and all the books have fallen off the shelf. It took a long, long time for me to be able to just find the language that I had lost. Come on, talk to me. Talk to me. Say something. So four months after the second stroke, I said to my mum, I need to go to the hospital. I was experiencing another stroke. I got a left sensory loss, so it was a lot of numbness and the inability just to do simple movements, for example, bringing your finger to your nose. By the end of the third stroke, I was actually diagnosed with an autoimmune disease called lupus. I was bed bound, I was home bound. By this stage, I was 24 years old. My future basically crumbled right in front of me. It wasn't easy. It was really difficult. I'm very lucky to have survived. I think the most important thing in life is to remain positive. Just look ahead and dream.